Good morning, my name is Brandon Schroeder, and I want to thank you for joining me for morning prayer this April 11th of Tuesday in Easter week. If anyone is in Christ, there is a new creation. Everything old has passed away. See, everything has become new. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Together, most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our first reading is from Corinthians and Romans. Alleluia, Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Now with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourself dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Alleluia. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. Psalm 103. Let us read together. Bless the Lord, all my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, all my soul, and forget not all his benefits. He forgives all your sins and heals all your infirmities. He redeems your life from the grave and crowns you with mercy and loving kindness. He satisfies you with good things, and your youth is renewed like an, like an eagle's. The Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all those who are oppressed. He made his ways known to Moses and his works to the children of Israel. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy, slow to anger and of great kindness. He will not always accuse us, nor will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our wickedness. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so is his mercy great upon those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our sins from us. As the father cares for his children, so does the Lord care for those who fear him. For he himself knows whereof we are made. He remembers that we are but dust. Our days are like the grass. We flourish like a flower of the field. When the wind goes over it, it is gone and his place shall know it no more. But the merciful goodness of the Lord endures forever on those who fear him, and his righteousness on children's children, on those who keep his covenant and remember his commandments and do them. The Lord has set his throne in heaven, and his kingship have, shall have dominion over all. Bless the Lord, you angels of his, you mighty ones who do his blessing, and hearken to the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you hosts, you ministers of who do his will. Bless the Lord, all you works of his, in all the places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Therefore, the Lord waits to be gracious to you. Therefore, he will rise up to show mercy to you. 
For the Lord is a God of justice. Blessed are those who will wait for him. Truly, O people in Zion, inhabitants of Jerusalem, you shall weep no more. He will surely be gracious to you at the sound of your cry. When he hears it, he will answer you. Though the Lord may give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet your teacher will not hide himself anymore. But your eyes shall see your teacher. And when you turn to the right or when you turn to the left, your ears shall hear a word behind you saying, this is the way, walk in it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to you, Lord God of our fathers, you are worthy of praise. Glory to you. Glory to you for the radiance of your holy name. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you in the splendor of your temple, on the throne of your majesty. Glory to you. Glory to you seated between the cherubim. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you beholding the depths and the high vault of heaven. Glory to you. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. The second reading is a reading from the Gospel according to John. If you love me, you will keep my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you forever. This is a spirit of truth whom the, word, the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him because he abides with you, and he will be in you. I will not leave you orphaned. I am coming to you. In a little while, the world will no longer see me, but you will see me because I live. You will live. On that day, you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. They who have my commandments and keep them are those who love me, and those who love me will be loved by my Father, and I will love them and reveal myself to them. Judas, not of Iscariot, said to him, Lord, how is it that you will reveal yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered him, those who love me will keep my word, and my Father will love them, and we will come to them and make our home with them. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words, and the world and the word that you hear is not mine, but it is from my Father who sent me. I have said these things to you while I am still with you, but the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I have said to you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not let them be afraid. You have heard me say to you, I am going away, and I am coming to you. If you love me, you will rejoice that I am going to the Father, because the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it occurs, so that when it does occur, you will believe I will no longer walk much with you, for the ruler of this world is coming. He has no power over me, but I do as the Father has commanded me, so that the world may know that I love the Father. Rise, let us be on our way. The word of the Lord. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain, for with your blood you have redeemed for God, from every family, language, people, and nation, a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor forever and evermore. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us say the Apostles' Creed together. I believe in God, the Father of the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, 
the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Together, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Responsively, show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the power be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. O God, by the glorious resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, destroyed death and brought life and immortality to light. Grant that we who have been raised with him may abide in his presence and rejoice in the hope of eternal glory. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to him, with you and the Holy Spirit, be dominion and praise forever and ever. Amen. A College for the Renewal of Life. O God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, drive far from us wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep your law, and guide our feet into the way of peace, that, having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, almighty and everlasting God, by whom whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all the members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry, they may truly and devoutly serve you. Through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for your creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to him with you and the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, everlasting. Amen. Let us bless our Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>